Good morning, crew. Uh, appreciate everybody's hard work. So far, the summer is doing very well. We appreciate that everyone is uh, working as hard as they can to put in good effort and uh, appreciate the ability that you guys are giving us to be able to work with you, to instruct and direct and mentor. And everyone has a good attitude and I just want to encourage just keep being that way. Just keep looking forward to being able to uh, know that you're going to get good feedback and that we think very highly of you guys and that we're really thankful for the team that we have. Uh, and I think things are being uh, very, going very smoothly. So, uh, however, I just need to cover a couple of topics here that I do need to reiterate the badge use. So we are food safe certified nationally and in order to maintain that there are certain protocols we have to follow in order that, that knowing that our food is actually secure and safe. One of them that they look at is that we have easily identifiable badges so we know who we are and who works here in order to protect our product. So I do notice that there are still a lot of uh, empty arms <laughs> without a band and uh, we do need you to please comply with this and make this part of your regular uniform. We've given hats, so you can, you know, you got vests. Uh, we also need you to be wearing your IDs. If you lose your badge, you don't know where it is, please just let us know right away and we'll be able to uh, address that. We can make you a temporary one. We have your picture on file. We can make an easy, cheap one to laminate. However, these nicer ones are much more sturdy and with the armbands, they're out of the way, so they're not gonna get into machinery or in your way while you're delivering ice. Uh, so please, uh, take care of this uh, so that way we can all be in compliance. Also, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of changes going on and they're all good changes. Uh, we are going to continue to understand how we have to comply with safety and security and how to also best and most efficiently run the processes here. So it is really growing and it's adapting, uh, but it is really enabling us to improve our ability to execute this huge market demand for ice this year and uh, we're doing well. So we might be running thin on ice at certain times, where, but in those are those times where we may apply that positive pressure to ask you guys to, you know, please go ahead and uh, you know, need you to uh, really put in a strong effort on, you know, for this bagging or for this delivery time. We want you first and foremost to always be safe. Safety is a cultural mindset. It's not a priority because priorities change. Safety is a culture. Uh, so always, always still be safe but learning to do things the same way every time will make it safe, smooth, and ultimately more quick and efficient. Uh, so I just wanna, again, uh, thank you for us being able to uh, speak to you guys about these things and know that you do have the, the desire and the intention to, to, to work together as a team. So this is uh, also coming up. We will be having a mandatory Sunday training day. I know it's summer and I know we all love our Sundays. Uh, however, uh, what we have seen is that we have uh, a lot of great opportunity and it's and there's and uh, talent in our team, but we need to be able to actually come together as a team and we need to do some consistent training for everybody to get everybody all caught up at the same place. Plus, I'm very happy to report that we now have an official forklift training program in-house. We have DVD, we have books, we have posters. Uh, I was able to go through some Train the Trainer and uh, we will have it both in English and in Spanish. However, I will not be teaching it in Spanish. The videos are in Spanish. I may, <laughs> maybe Rubelio or, or Jorge could help us out or Alvin. Uh, but we'll let you guys know. Um, it's probably, we're looking at uh, before 4th of July. So we're looking at the uh, end of June, uh, which will be updated uh, as far as an official date. And it will be in the afternoon around 2.30. And our plan is to quickly go, just go through certain training that everyone has to go through. And then we're gonna split off and there's gonna be some individual work with the driving teams, some individual work with the plant operations teams, et cetera. Uh, so that way, and then we're gonna have a grill going and, uh, and we're gonna do some barbecuing, some hot dogs, burgers, maybe some fish. Uh, and it'd just be a good time for the team to just, you know, take a breath and, you know, have a good time and really start to get to know each other. Even if this is seasonal, we're hoping that we create a culture uh, that if, you know, things go well and the relationship is strong, that next season, if you're available and, you know, we'd love to know that we have you penciled in. So anyways, that's the update of what's going on right now. We appreciate it and expect more to follow and keep your eye on Asana. Thanks, guys. Be safe.